A special thank you to our sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kayleigh Allen and welcome to a, another plant haul. It's the last one of the year because it's like, what, December 18th or something right now. And these guys that I'm going to show you today will be ready maybe in about two months, I would say. So maybe not quite spring, but as soon as the cold weather sort of clears off, I can start selling these plants and they're very, very nice. Just want to give a quick shout out. I've got some rescue boxes still to go out. Now I've changed the format of those boxes slightly. This is UK only, so apologies, but I've made it so you can actually pick your own item within the box. So it's less of a mystery and now you can get a single item box. I can't remember of talking to you now exactly what is there, but I think there is Bipenifolium aurea there. There is Billetai. What else is there? There is also these beautiful little Hederaceum variegatas here. How pretty is that? How pretty is that? And I have some of these in boxes. They're very, very affordable and I will be shipping them out after Christmas. So if you order anything, now I think this goes out is it the 22nd if you order anything now it's not going to be shipped before Christmas it's going to be shipped after but if you're interested feel free to visit the website and have a look right on with the plant haul. In no particular order, I have some really nice things in for you. One thing is back by popular demand and the rest are all cute variegated things that I think you're going to really enjoy when these things come out. One of them is something that I've made a bit more of an investment in and I'm going to have to cut them down and propagate them so they might be a little bit longer. I guess it really depends how quickly these things grow. Anyway, let's just get right into it. The first plant I want to show you, I can't remember the actual name of it, but I've bought these in on the basis that I feel like we all like this kind of derogation slash development on a plant and I think it'd be really nice to have. I bought these in very small and I intend to grow them. Hopefully they grow really quick. I'm going to feed them. We'll see how it goes and I can get them out to you either when the weather clears or if they take a little bit longer to grow then maybe these will come out in spring. But I have here the most cutest ever if I just show you it first because it is very very cute. Please focus on it. Hopefully we won't have too many problems with focusing today. I know the last video was a bit dire. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. This here is a homolomina and it's so cute and as you can see it functions a little bit like what a philodendron florida ghost would so you get them and the leaves come in really white and then they will fade down to green but before they get green they will sort of go i hate using the word but they'll go minty so for example this leaf here hopefully it will focus here they come in like this and if you see this leaf here it that's basically what it's going to do when it fades down so it's going to go this sort of striped gauzed kind of minty vibe there if i tip that to the camera because it is a bit wet so it will sort of reflect a little bit and if you can see this one here you can see it's faded down a bit more to a green does it go dark green let me check for you because certain plants that do this don't go dark green do they they stay a bit lighter um i would say they go green actually there's a couple in there that have got leaves that are older that have gone like just normal green because if you think about the philodendron whipple way for example when that fades down it doesn't really go green it's it stays quite sort of frosted i think these go quite green but i'm quite excited by these I have no idea how hardy they are, how well they're going to grow, how quick they're going to grow, but I think they could be really, really nice. And I actually kind of, I'm doing a philodendron red plant index on homolamina as we speak. I need to get around to finishing that. But I think that homolamina are actually going to be a really nice plant for maybe next year, just because we'll always love philodendron, obviously. But I think homolamina have some really nice alternatives and stuff like that. They have a beautiful alternative to the philodendron pink princess that's out, things like that. I've got one here that's uh, still struggling with it reverting but you get my point so i think homolamina are going to do quite well a little bit of a spoiler alert for my um my 2024 prediction video but i've invested in some of these and i want to see how they go i think they're really really cute and i think they will look cute when they grow but that's him now most of them are the same size if not a little bit smaller than him so we will just see how he does but i think he's going to be really really nice and i think they'll sell okay let me know what you think of these but i think they're gonna do okay so I'm actually going to put him back where he lives. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> if you're witnessing this, okay, I'm supposed to be riding my horse after this. So I actually have riding gear on, but I haven't got my boots on yet. So I've done the typical equestrian thing, right? Where I put on my socks, I keep my trainers on, I put my socks on and I just wait to put my boots on, except I've got one sock inside out. So this is the vibe that I'm rocking for today's video. But I think you guys are used to it at this point. I'm just generally, generally just a load of chaos right i'll put that on the end okay next plant see if i do it this way i get to sort of tidy as i film and it just works better 
So, next plant. I'm going to hold up now two plants, but it's basically one plant. I just want to show you sort of how they present. So if you remember the last plant haul I did, I bought in, I can't remember exactly what they were, but they were basically like a philodendron Congo variegated hybrid. And that's all I know them to be. I will have to go and do some digging on what they might actually be, but that's what I bought them in as essentially. So I had those two really pretty big ones, which I do still have. They're sort of, I don't know if you can see the scissor lift in here. Oh no, you can. They're, they're actually just behind the scissor lift literally where the spathophyllum are so i still have those but i went and got some smaller ones and if i sold them at this size i'd be happy if they grow bigger by the time they stabilize in a couple of months i'm still happy but let me pick them up and show you because honestly they are gorgeous so spoiler alert you have seen these before but these are just smaller cuter versions and i wanted to show you kind of the color journey they go through because these are really cute so here are both of them it's hard to hold them up. Here they are, like this. Very, very cute. But I want to show you the back of them. If you look at this, how pretty and pink do they come through on the back? Super, super nice. There you go. I'll just rotate that for you so you can see. Very, very, very nice. And obviously you get lovely variegation. It is very like Jose Bono type variegation. And I think I said this on the last video. If I had to guess the hybrid, I would guess Jose Bono. I'm not even saying that that's definitely what they are, but that's what they remind me of. Specifically this plant as well, actually. It's not why I picked it, but it's a good point. This leaf's quite long, look. It's just a bit longer and a bit paddlier. Mm. I don't know. But yeah, I wanted to show you these because I need to find out if they harden to white because I have some whitish ones as shown here. This is another reason I wanted to pick these up. I have some white ones here, look, and then I have some yellowy ones. So I don't know if this is the same thing as the Glory Awesome thing where they will come in like this and do this. But by the time I release these, I'll be able to give you that answer because I will watch them and find out. But I wanted to show you these because these are so, so pretty. Look how nice they are. That is basically a thumbnail. Let's just be honest. Basically a thumbnail. They are so, so pretty. And I tell you something, they are tough. If you remember, I told you not long after that last haul I did, I didn't water them. I missed the ones that I put in the tray and I'd only bought two of the big ones. So they took a hit. I think they had one leaf that dropped on each of them and they're just fine. And that is testament to the Congo. I don't know what else is in them, but I tell you now, the fact that Congo could even withstand becoming a pink Congo, for example, the fact that Congos are still out and about in garden centers, the plant underneath all of this is still tough. And that is what we want. That is where we want to put our money these days. We can't be bothered. We can't be bothered with flimsy stuff, guys. I know I can't. That's where the money's going. So I really think these will do well next year. I think they're very, very cute. And I can't, I can't really see why anyone would find them offensive. You know what I mean? They're just cute. I mean, look at them. That's a really cute plant. This is a lovely size as well. I'd be very happy if these didn't even grow and they just stabilized. I'd be really happy with these. But yeah, I have a few of these in. Please expect to see them in a couple of months. I will let you know what happens with the whole color vibe because I'm not sure what is going to happen here. But how cute are these? I might need to keep one of these for myself. This one in particular, very cute, very cute. Obviously they have this sort of, it's not mold, what do you call it? Just a speckled variegation, very much like Jose Bono, I would say. I'll just hold that up to you. It's probably gonna focus on my face. That's really annoying, but they have that speckled vibe and some beautiful sectoral vibes. So honestly, one to watch. Now let me try and find where I've actually plucked these from. That's not going to be very easy, I don't think. How <laughs> can I even find where they've come from? Right, one's come from there. I think one's come from there. Oh, it was easier than I thought. Yay! I hate not knowing where things go. Right, next one. Another variegate. Right, this next plant. I saw these, I, I mean, I saw these before I went to Thailand in 2020, but when I saw them in Thailand, I really wanted one and they cost so much money, so much money. I think the reason they cost so much money is because they were horrible to propagate. I think that's what I was told anyway. Don't know how true that is. That's what I was told. And to be fair, I went around about six nurseries and every nursery had a small collection of them in. So say, I don't know, say if I went to Thailand and I saw philodendron choco red, right? I might see 300 of those in a, like a row in a nursery. These plants, I must've seen about 20 in a group, if you know what I mean. So there, no one had a lot of them. I think they were a lot of, a lot of moolah, a lot of money back then, but now they're a bit cheaper. So I bought some in. My plan is to sell a lot of these as they are. And I'll probably take one or two to actually propagate and make more from. We'll see. I want to find out just how hard they are to propagate. Otherwise, when are we ever going to learn anything if I don't sacrifice a couple of plants? I mean, it'd be great if I didn't have to sacrifice them at all, but you never know.
If you're looking for a fast and reliable way to create and run your own website, you should give Squarespace a try. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for creating your own website from scratch using a variety of modern and sleek templates. They're really customizable so you can have a website that's unique to your brand in no time. I've used Squarespace now for well over a year for the Red Plant shop and it's working really, really well for me. You can filter the templates on the website by type. I found a nice one here for someone wanting to start a blog. I just really like the layout of this one and it's called Brower. You can preview it as well before you try it and it gives you a dummy website to click around just to see if you like it before you actually commit to it. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for an online store or maybe you're working on your own blog, check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it from voiceover me. Back to the video. So anyway, let me just pick it up. You're probably bored already thinking, just tell us what the plant is. And I feel you, I really feel you. It's this guy. Do you know what this is? Now, honestly, and again, this is not something new or revolutionary. All I'm saying is I've wanted one for a long time, I'm dribbling on myself, and I haven't been able to get one. So I'm really, really, really happy to be able to finally get one. Sorry, there's shit all over this plant, hang on. There we go, I've got it. Is there shit on me still? No, it's fine. I had shit on me all week. But how pretty is this plant? So this is Philodendron bipenifolium aurea, also known as I think it's like philodendron violin variegated or something. I don't know. Because, for example, at the moment, I have bipenifolium aurea here. And that is basically just a... It's like a limey green plant and the, the new leaves come through yellow. So same plant, but not variegated. Sorry, I'm butchering this explanation. Let me just pick one up because this is a small one. I'll pick this up to show you. Oh, kicking my softbox. Here. So this here is the exact same plant. This is what's been in the rescue boxes, essentially. This here is the same plant, obviously, but variegated. And if I just put these together, you can see it's the same plant. This is bipenifolium aurea, bipenifolium variegata, I guess. So same plant. This means it's tough. But I just feel like this is obviously going to be tougher because there is something up with these. There's a reason why these haven't circulated much. Have you ever seen tons of these? Maybe recently, granted, fine, you don't get a prize for that. <laughs> but earlier in life, I never really saw much of them. And when I did, they've always had a price tag, always, because I've always wanted one. So let me know if you know anything about these. Have you had these? Have you propagated these? Even these, the normal bipenifolium. What's the tea? What's occurring? Because I really want to know. I am going to find out. But until then, how pretty is this guy? I don't even think this is the biggest one. I've got a few. I don't have a ton. I maybe have ooh, less than 10, more than five. Could be like somewhere between six and eight or something, just by looking at that tray back there. But they're very, very cute. And oh, maybe I'll keep this one. The new leaf is actually adorable. Can you see it? How cute is that? Oh, it's so cute. So yeah, philodendron, bipenifolium. I can't even speak today. Bipenifolium variegata. Very nice plant. They've shipped beautifully, by the way. I can tell you that. They're obviously tough enough. But these ones, when they came in, they shipped beautifully. They're generally a tough plant. I just want to know why they didn't circulate. Maybe they're unstable. Maybe it's not hard to propagate in terms of plants dying. Maybe it's unstable. Maybe that's the tea. What is the tea, guys? What is the tea? All right, let me put this one back in the rescue section. And then this one, this one can go back. Back on the shelf. Where did I put said plant on the shelf? I've spaced them out. There we go. I'll just pop you there. Beautiful, beautiful plants that I've, I'm not even kidding guys when I say I've wanted one literally since COVID. That's how long. But I was just not going to pay those prices. Not when I'm told that you can't propagate them well when I'm buying them as a shop. It doesn't really make sense, does it? Right. Ooh, let's leave. I've got one more variegated one to show you. I've got two non-variegated ones to show you. I'm going to show you a plant now that y'all have been asking me for. Oh my God. The amount of emails I get about this plant specifically to, you know, to have and to sell are insane. And these can be sold internationally. Uh, international shipping is not open yet, but I'm sure it will be. It doesn't have to be in spring. It can be as soon as the cold weather clears because I know y'all are wanting these. I'm going to pick it up. But you've been asking for it. A keen eye among you, have, have, you've already spotted it in the background anyway. <sighs> this guy, this guy, do you remember this guy? Yes, of course you do. Mine is actually over here and it's got a yellow leaf. Two seconds. So you can understand what these guys do if you haven't already. Oh, he's lost a couple of leaves. He uh, got underwatered the other day. Oh, he's lost about three. Hang on. I would not normally trim him, but I'm going to trim him because he's got three leaves, look, that are dead as hell. Let me just give him a little snip. You know I don't like doing this, but in the case of him being this good looking, guys, I am actually going to continue that theme. Where is this other little leaf? Sorry, give me one moment. Hey, at least I'm cutting it on camera. I'm not bullshitting you all that I don't screw things up with plants. Right, 
this guy. This is yellow, it's actually pollen, so we can ignore that. So these are the same plant. This here is Microsorum Thailandicum, and y'all have been asking for it. My God, y'all have been asking for it. So this is a bigger boy than mine. That does tell you that they do grow quite slowly. Mine, when I got this, was it was smaller, but it, you can see it hasn't really grown much. Now, when I see these sold, normally they're sold much smaller, even much smaller than this. And I think you guys like these ones because they're so big. And I will agree, the bigger ones are hard to get. But I've got some in. These are the color they are. When I got mine, it was this color when I pulled this in from a haul, what, like, bloody hell, like three years ago. And it's gradually got bluer. So this, I, I'm aware of how blue this is. Every time I put this on camera, everybody loves it. Literally, everybody loves it. This is a universally loved plant, and these always sell really well. So this will go bluer. I don't know entirely the secret. I don't even know if it's temperature. I'm not sure. Light definitely plays into it. These are just obviously under my grow lights. Um, this is in pawn, if you must know what I'm doing to get this. It's in pawn. It's under my grow lights. Temperature in summer is very high in here. It's late. 20s but now it's about 20 it doesn't seem to suffer as i say it had yellow leaves but it's it's in a tree that got it got neglected to blow it it didn't get neglected but it's in a tray full of moss stuff which it dried up very quickly so that's why that was like that but that is the color that it goes no word of a lie no camera trickery no nothing that is the color it goes these are the color of the ones i have with any luck they will get a little bit bluer over the time but mark my words they will get bluer let me just put that one down oh god it's so good looking isn't it I'll just show you this, because if I tilt it to the light correctly, you can see the blue. Depends how I tilt it. There is definitely blue in here. Can you see? It wants to focus on me, doesn't it? It's definitely blue. It just needs a bit more colour popping. But I've got some more of these in, because y'all will not stop asking. And they work really well for me in here, even though they are a fern. <sighs> They just, they don't really die. They're very, very tough. And these, by the way, I know I talk about these ferns a lot, honestly. We're just going to have to deal with it. They are really good. But these don't bend. These are very Hoya-ish in the leaves in the way that you can't, you can't manipulate them or anything like that. They are what they are. So obviously when they get packed, I'm able to push them up very gently like that and they'll pack beautifully. But when you have them out, you get what you get. I'm sure it'll spread itself out for the light like this one definitely has. He's done everything he can because he has sat near the edge of a box. That's why he he is flat on one side and sort of spread out on the other side, but he does what he can. He will do the same. But my God, guys, <sighs> if you could own one fern, I actually do think it is this one. I, I don't think I used to say that, but this is so good. And I do not know anybody when I put this on camera that doesn't just go, oh my God, I want it. I promise you that is not tricks. I literally promise you that's real. Right, let's put him back though, because I cherish him so much. Let me just slap that in there. So yeah, I've got some of these guys, as you might be able to see from my background when I walk over now. Here he is. I think he came out the front. He's either come out the front or the back. There's a lovely space for him in the front. So there he goes. He can live there among the rest of them and they will be sold as soon as they are ready. They might blow up a bit, they might not. I wish you could see what I can see from here, right? Because you probably can't because obviously I have these two rows. Oh, wow, I cannot do that on camera. These two rows here, I have of them and there's loads of blue sticking out. I just think the camera's probably not going to capture it because it's one, it's not going to focus on it and two, it is subtle. But oh, I had to get some guys. I missed them anyway. Honestly, I missed them anyway. I sold them. I was like, shit, I need to get some more. I need to get some more need to get some more and i kept forgetting but i got them right second to last thing is this guy now this is interesting can i get it not on camera sort of let me pop him down so i have been noticing something recently people as in like growers <laughs> in thailand are experimenting a lot with hybrids i knew that anyway we all knew that anyway and i know that the anthurium hybrids are getting more experimented on and produced and stuff like that but it turns out they're dabbling a little bit with philodendron hybrids as well which excites me more i'm just gonna be honest i'm not an anthurium person i like anthurium i don't dislike them but i think i speak for most people when i say that philodendron is probably king most of the time i would say it probably goes philodendron monstera anthurium if you take those three let me know if you'd rank that differently by the way in the comments genuinely curious but for me that's what it is i think for some people maybe monstera come first but i would actually be shocked i would actually i'm putting it out there i'd be shocked if your anthurium came first I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But anyway, so there's been some cool hybrids come out. I'm actually going to do an extra video for you in the next few days showing some of those off. Not a ton, just a couple, but it's just something I'm noticing. So I'm letting you know that now in advance of next year, there may be some cool hybrids coming in the philodendron world. But this guy here is actually really cute. And it's one of these things where I can actually see the parentage in the plant. And if you stay tuned for my extra video this week, I'm gonna show you the parents on camera. 
But for now, I'm just going to show you the plant because that's kind of what we're doing. So I'll pick him up because he's quite large. This guy, I want you to have a look at him for a few seconds and see if you can tell me what you think the parents are because I'm really curious. Take notice of the length of the leaves, the back of the leaves, the petiole length, the colour. I'm trying to help you out, give you maybe not clues, but somewhere to look. I want you to look at this. I want you to guess now what you think the parents are. I'm going to tell you, but I want you to guess. I don't know who... Um, mother and father are specifically, but I can tell you the, the parents that have crossed with it. If I just show you this, okay, next to my head because it's going to focus on my face, it is, sorry. Um, if I just show you that, notice the length of it, the ridges, could you say, petioles here, quite long, I would say. I wouldn't say they were overly short. The ratio is good, but I wouldn't say they were overly short. This guy's a little bit floppy. He's not long coming. These are quite new in, you see. Uh, can I show you the back? Maybe on the new one a little bit here, you can probably see a little bit of blush on the back there. And you're probably thinking, mm, definitely looks like there's a heart shape in there, I would say. And the, some things, something stretching it though, would you agree guys? Something stretching it. So you've probably got a heart shape as one of the parents because it's philodendron, you can see this here. This is very indicative of a heart shape coming in. But something stretched it, something stretched it. It's given it a little bit of, a little bit of ridge. We still have some nice petiole with a little bit of colour on it. <laughs> I'm giving you clues. You probably, some of you might already have it. Or at least you've got one parent, right? You must have one of the parents. The other parents are, the other parent I'll admit is a bit harder. But then you've got this and you do have a little bit of blush. Trust me, it is there. Trust me. Uh, can I show you it? A little bit. You do have a bit of blush on the back of the leaves. So what do you think that it is? Five seconds and I'll tell you. There you go. One, two, three. Four, five. Longest five seconds ever. It is, again, don't know which way around it is, but it is philodendron bilati crossed with philodendron L choc or red. Yes, really. And I quite like this, guys. I really quite like it. Now, will it be tough? Hmm. I don't know, right? Bilati, tough. Tough as nails, right? Can't really go wrong with Biltai. Biltai is great. It depends. I think if you've really hammered them before shipping, then yeah, they're going to suffer. But generally, Biltai are quite good. Choco, not so good. Okay, not so good. We know this. We know this. Not so good. So I'm actually unsure of how well they're going to do. Obviously, I'll let you know. But I want to show you this because it is quite cute. And I don't have a lot of these because I didn't know how well they were going to do. I didn't know if anybody was going to care. But I guess my, my main message to convey here is that this sort of stuff is happening. And I'm totally here for it. I think we can get some really nice crosses. Some really really, really nice crosses because we get a lot of crosses with heart shapes. Obviously, we've had that before, but I don't think we've had more crosses with longer things and heart shapes and stuff. So I think we could get some really interesting results out of it. So that's him. This is, in some order, it's Billetai crossed with El Choco Red. That's where you get the red bits from and the heart shape sort of trying to come in there and some of the structure and the pillowiness. And then obviously you get the bilati in the, not orange petioles, but there's definitely some color there. Hopefully you can see that and the lengthening and everything else. So let me know what you think of those. I think they're really cute. I think they're really cute. I'm going to pop them down because he is a little bit wiggly in the pot. Then I'll show you these last two because they're very, very cute. And I will run to the camera with them behind my back. <laughs> So you can't see them and you don't get spoiled for surprise. That's what happens when you have to run off and get stuff. Okay, these last two are, I mean, I haven't done a video yet for next year or anything, but these last two are my mini investment plants for next year. They're not the only thing I'm investing in, but I saw these and I thought, mm, okay. The reason I've invested in these plants, it's the same plant, I've got two of them. The reason I'm investing in these is because the base plant is reasonably popular, I think. The variegation it's producing is white. Great, we love that. If you ever wonder about what you should invest in over yellow or white, pick white. Just telling you as a seller, people love white more than yellow, is what it is. So they have that. They, now they can be a bit temperamental, I know this, but generally they're pretty solid plant. They're not the toughest of them all, but they're up there, they're fine. And I think this plant has been TC'd. They're in plenty of garden centers even. Well, garden centers, plant shops. They're coming out, right? I'm just going to pick them up because I feel like I've talked your ear off. So the other thing I've invested in would be these guys. Can you tell what they are? I will give you five seconds to tell. What do you think they are? They are climbers. You can't really tell, but they are climbers. 
primers. Nice and long and thin look. See that? Very, very cute. Very, very cute. This one is... This one is bigger than this one, but they both got great variegation on them. Really, really nice. So these are variegated philodendron atabapuensi, and they're very, very nice. So th these scare me a little bit, I'm going to be honest, because these are chop and prop type vibes. I don't think I would sell these whole because I literally, being completely transparent with you, I've got these two, okay? So it is a chop and prop situation, but that scares me with stuff like this because I don't do it so much anymore and it just terrifies me each time because how's it going to react? What I think I'd like to do is actually grow them slightly first because I cannot really get to these nodes unless I did a butt cut on it, then they're just too tight at the minute because these are quite juvenile. I suspect these are obviously TC plants that have become variegated and they're being sold. Let's just call a spade a spade. Can I guarantee that either way? No, I can't. We've talked about this before, but if you want my guess, they're probably TC plants. They've mutated, they've variegated. Here they are. So that's probably what they are. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. We've talked about this a lot, but still cute, right? Still really, really cute. And I think these will do very, very nicely. I just hope I can propagate them nicely because I don't know, you know, I really don't know. They're very cute though. Look at these. Oh, that's another thumbnail as well. If I can hold on to them nice. <laughs> thumbnail with me. Maybe it's this one that just looks shit on camera. It's a lovely plant. It just, it just looks shit on camera. Do you know what I mean? If you look at the individual uh, genetics of it, it's quite nice. This is the boy though. I mean, even then it looks a bit like a propeller. It's not exactly, they're not throwing me the nicest shapes are they but that's him really 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 nice plan i they do make me nervous though i really won't lie let me know what you think about these but i'm i think we can both agree that it's it's probably tc plant I mean, whenever you see anything coming out of Thailand these days, it's variegated, you know fine well how they've got it. They've either taken it off a production line of TC and it's just come out variegated and gone, oh, goody, or they've just pumped it and it's now magically variegated. Do we even care anymore? Do we even care anymore? This is, this is one of the reasons, and not to, not to rant, I can feel a rant coming. This is one of the reasons why I can't deal with people who don't like TC because you don't like TC, but you're, you're quite happy to buy things from other countries that have been literally pumped full of stuff or done by radiation or however that that person wants to do it to get their agates. Like, that's fine. But, like, TC isn't. Like, what? What? Anyway, rant over. I said I wouldn't do it and I've semi-done it. Apologies, guys. Apologies, guys. Right, so... That was a really cute little haul. It is the last haul of the year. Of course, I'll be getting stuff in, but I think it's not till next year now. I need to sort of tidy the place up. I've done some behind me. It might look moderately better than it used to. Um, I need to do loads of propagating and prepare everything for spring. See how that goes. I cut all my Monstera Mint yesterday because I know a few of you are asking about it. So I don't know if you can see, if I walk back here, this tray here has mint in it that I've just done. So hopefully that takes off nice. They're not the quickest growing though, so... We'll see. But I know people are asking for that too. But yeah, that's basically what I have to do now. So no more holes for a little while. I'll be damned if there is one. There's something... I've, I've obviously just got an itch to buy something if there's a hole coming in. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for a little bit of an extra video just showing you a couple of hybrids that I've found very recently that I think are cute. So it won't be a long one, but it'll be a cute one. And I will see you in the next video, I guess. If you haven't already, my feed... You can buy it online. My merch, you can buy it online. Links are in the description if that is something that you are interested in. I can't put this back. It's going to fall. Right. Thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, God. Merry Christmas. Holy shit. It's going to be Christmas when you watch this. Nearly. Merry Christmas. Bye, guys.